This is a supplementary video for our paper Cardiogan Attentive Generative Adversarial Network with Dual Discriminators for Synthesis of ECG from PPG to appear in AAAI 2021. ECG is the electrical measurement of cardiac activity, whereas PPG is the optical measurement of volumetric changes in blood circulation. Research has shown strong correlation between these two modalities, hence both signals are used for heart rate monitoring. However, from a medical perspective, ECG is considered the more useful as it carries additional cardiac information. Despite many attempts toward incorporating ECG sensing in smartwatches or similar wearable devices, PPG sensors remain the main feasible sensing solution for continuous and reliable cardiac monitoring. In order to tackle this problem, we propose CardioGAN. CardioGAN takes PPG as input and generates ECG. The proposed network utilizes an attention-based generator to learn local salient features, as well as dual discriminators to preserve the integrity of generated data in both time and frequency domains. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first use of deep learning and adversarial networks in particular for translating PPG to ECG signals. Moreover, as CardioGAN is based on a CycleGAN backbone, it has the ability to be trained in both paired and unpaired fashions, meaning it does not require PPG ECG correspondence in the training phase. Our analysis shows that our proposed model accurately learns to translate PPG to ECG as very realistic ECG waveforms are produced. Here we present several sample input outputs along with the ground truths. The topmost row shows the ECG generated by CardioGAN, the middle row presents the given PPG inputs, and the ground truth ECG is presented at the bottom row for reference. By comparing the generated ECG with the ground truth, we see the accurate performance of our system. We also perform numerical analyses and quantify the performance, for which we refer you to our paper. Here we present a real-time demonstration of CardioGAN. To do so, we use an Empatica E4, a wearable device that collects PPG among other signals. We transfer the PPG via Bluetooth to the computer where a CardioGAN, specifically the generator GE, is pre-trained on public datasets as described in the paper. CardioGAN then converts the incoming PPG to their corresponding ECG waveforms. The bottom plot shows the incoming real-time PPG, and the plot at the top shows the generated ECG outputs over a 10-second window. Further bottom of the screen, we show heart rate in beats per minute, or BPM, calculated from the PPG recorded by the wearable, as well as the generated ECG over the same window. We observe that while the two heart rate measurements are mainly consistent, in some cases there are clear differences between the heart rate measured from the PPG and the corresponding ECG over the 10 second windows. Our experiments on public datasets containing both PPG and ECG show that heart rate measured from the ECGs generated by CardioGAN is more accurate and reliable compared to heart rate measured from the original input PPG, reducing the error from 9.74 beats per minute when measured from the PPG to 2.89 when measured from the generated ECG. Our model can be integrated into existing PPG-based wearables to obtain synthetic ECG and aid with the continuous monitoring of cardiac activity. Monitoring cardiac activity is an essential part of the continuous health monitoring paradigm, which could enable early diagnosis of cardiovascular diseases and in turn early preventative measures that can lead to overcoming severe cardiac problems. We believe our proposed solution has the potential to make an impact in the healthcare and wearable communities, notably for continuous health monitoring. Thank you for watching.